and welcome everyone here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Callista Lucian Midrange. As you all know, we played this deck on Tuesday and didn't have the best result, but I thought that our deck was better than um, than what it showed. I think I, you know, I was I didn't play it the best, and you know, we we're a little unlucky in spots and things like that. And and um, but it looked like the deck had a lot of potential, so we're gonna bring it back. Just like we talked about at the end of the video, I'm taking out the Fleet Feather trackers that um, whoops, that were in the deck. Because um, I'm not sure if they really fit super well. But we're going to take those out. We're going to play one Mage Seeker Conservator instead. Um, because basically, it seemed like we needed some more top end. But So Conservator can last breath get us a, a really expensive spell. So you know, like we can get like a game-breaking spell with the Conservator. And then also play two Rekindlers as well that can bring back Callista or Lucian. It's not too difficult for us to flip either Callista or Lucian in this deck. Um, especially Lu Lucian's pretty easy because all we have to do is have Senna die. So it's pretty easy to flip Lucian. But then, um, but then you know, like it's not, it's, but what is difficult is keeping Callista and Lucian alive. And so that maybe Rekindler can help with those. But anyway, uh, let's let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's uh, play some Callista Lucian. Here we go. All right, let's use the Cursed Ruins. Okay. So we'll play five games over in ranked, like always. Oh, Draven Ezreal. Um, later on today, our last deck of the day, I cannot wait. We are going to be playing uh, Draven Ez also, but an aggro deck. And so we're going to be fooling our opponents that think that since we're playing Draven Ez, we are playing... Um, we'll keep the Chronicler. Since we're playing Draven Ez, they'll think that we're playing a control deck. I really want to draw the Undying. Or Cursed Keeper. I do like um, I do like Glimpse Beyond in Ezreal matchups because they you know their decks built around targeting your allies and so then you can sacrifice an ally in response to it being targeted and so they don't get the Ezreal trigger and you get to draw cards. But unfortunately, our mulligan really, really went downhill for us. Okay. <clears throat> that was a great draw. That was something to do here. We were, um, you know, pretty desperate. They could have Blade's Edge. Um, to do one damage, but that still doesn't kill Callista. Like, Callista is only going to see toughness here. Um, possible I should just be waiting for, like, Ezreal for that. Possibly. Radiant Guardian's a good one in this matchup. Probably should have waited and not used that. I mean, would be going down to a lower life total. Hey, Mary. No. Don't have Ezreal. Alright, single combat. Let's draw another one. Come on, single combat. Nope. One shot, all skill. Eh. 
a little bit of skill. Uh, I've been playing this since basically right after, right uh, when it came out of open or out of closed beta, basically. So playing it for. A couple months now. A little over two months. Um, it's a good one. Yeah, it's a real good game. Alright, that gets them to uh, four for Ezreal. I guess what I could have done is just not played the Callista, which which would mean basically not playing anything last turn. And then um And then with not you know then then I'd have Black Spear available also. Um yeah, like I'd after after I rekindled, then I would have Callista's Black Spear. But I would have just taken last turn off completely. Alright, so that's an Ezreal's Mystic Shot. So that means Ezreal's going to fizzle because this won't resolve. So they won't shuffle an Ezreal into their deck. So that will get one Ezreal out of their deck. Well, that's great. That could not have gone better for us drawing both single combats. I got the kids. Perfect. Watch and learn. You only have four cards. Perfect. Hey, noob loco. Hmm. So I'm just gonna let it happen so I can chronicler the undying. Because this is a really good combo. We should have two Undyings come back. One from the Chronicler, one from the Butcher. Undying, um, Undying Chronicler combo is pretty nice. All right, Ezreal's leveled up. Uh, no, not really. I wouldn't say I really have a favorite region. Um, I'm somebody who kind of, just personality-wise, I I just I I look for the positives in everything and try to appreciate everything and and um and i you know i there's stuff i like in all the regions basically That's, i don't know if it's the best answer but 
I don't really have a favorite. You know, here for the stream, I like playing... I also like playing everything. Which means, um, you know, so I, I get to kind of play all the regions. I like to to test out all of them. So, you know, using the Withering Whale to get rid of the Scrap Scuttlers. So they don't have that for a blocker. But the Undyings. That turn that we drew the double... Um, the du double single combat, that was amazing. Amazing turn. All right, some spiders. Spider aggro. Basically the exact same hand we started with last time. We just had a different 5 drop. But it was like Glimpse Beyond right here, Chronicler right here, Ravenous Butcher right here. So it's like the same cards in the same spot. And then this was a different 5 drop. This was Ethereal Remitter. Huh. That's pretty weird. Anyway, we'll this time let's get rid of... Oh no, keep that. We'll get rid of all of these. No, Chronicler's too good. Get rid of those. Really hope... We draw Cursed Keeper right about now. Come on, Cursed Keeper! Dang. Drew a two drop. I pull the strings. This is kind of bad. Not that bad, though. It is Draven time. We lose a bite. You have earned your fist. So they, of course, can spinning axe. Oh no, Spinning Axe Vision. Uh, that was the worst case scenario for the Spinning Axe. Spinning Axe Vision. Bleh. It's probably not worth single combat right here, right? This is pretty bad. Our mulligans have not been kind to us. We drew enough cards the last game with like the glimpse beyonds and everything that we drew out of it, but. It's just not good. Where's my axe? We got another Withering Will. I don't have any Vile Feast in this deck, right? I don't think I do. No, no Vile Feast. I stand for Noxus. I gotta work with this Joker. Push 
back to darkness. I don't know, man. I don't know. This is a rough one. Another vision? For the money makers. Seriously? Okay, fine. Is that at all? Wow. Draven just laughing on our grave over here. We're already dead. I'll keep both Callistas. So we have the opportunity for Callista plus Black Spear. Now we're drawing Conservator and Cursed Keeper and things like that, like where a Ravenous Butcher would actually do something. A little late there. I just mulliganed the Ravenous Butcher. Man, this would have been a great Ravenous Butcher hand. If these were our draws last game, you know, Undying, Cursed Keeper, Mage Seeker Conservator, you know, like we would have been in a lot better spot. So playing the Undying this turn instead of Callista, because we are the ones attacking. Uh, if we didn't have the attack token, we'd play, I'd play Callista. But I feel like I want to get an extra attack in with the Undying. I like seeing this ruination. We can work towards that in two turns. Maybe catch them by surprise. Hey, That's my resting face. Let's move. Is it better to play Senna first? In the field. You call me Commander. So Cliss is attacking last. I'm going to attack with Lucian before Senna. Because if they use a removal spell here, they're gonna be killing Lucian. So therefore I want the send afterwards. Or if they like, you know, use some kind of protection here where this block kills this. Like if they just had a twin disciplines randomly. Gave it plus toughness. sad if they have a deny also. That would have been sad. All 
Alright, they got some spooky spiders. Alright, G and G's. Two and one. Perfect vengeance draw. That's why we play one vengeance. Just to be able to draw it like that. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Ugh. No, my Tai Tai. I'm sorry. It's a real good hand. I will keep all of this. We are weak against, you know, like their champion is Fiora. If they just have a Fiora and, and a whole lot of ways to protect Fiora, we're gonna lose. Like I am very weak against Fiora, so I guess that means I should mulligan some. But the thing is, is I don't have, I have like single combat as the only card that's good against Fiora in my deck. And. That's about it. I guess Glimpse Beyond and I guess On Guard. Maybe On Guard. So basically, I was just hoping they didn't actually, you know, didn't just draw one of their Fioras because my deck's just not, not built to beat Fiora. But unfortunately, they do have Fiora. Hey, okay. There's the the one card in my deck that's good. That's it. It's the only one. Um, but it's not perfect, but it's good. Don't get in my way. I think this is going to be a quick game. I think this is going to be one quick game. None of these cards really matter. You're late. You're early. Need to draw another single con- like, because they're going to have one protection spell for the Fiora, I would assume. It's just how can we, like, they have to challenge her and use a protection spell. Oh, great. Well, Fiora's their only champion, so they just drew another one, so that now we know for sure they have Repost. Got to play around to that also. This is just some bad news here.
Bad news bears. Wait, this could work. My gun does the talk. Could this work? Oh, I didn't challenge. I didn't challenge. Oh, no. No, I was I was doing math and I oh no. No. Alright, well. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's my only way to stay alive. If I try to have any of these other things fight Fiora, we know they have a repost in hands. Um, I can't beat the repost anyway. Oh, they just have a single combat also. This will be what a pity. Well, at the beginning of that game, I said that I couldn't beat. If they had Fiora and all great cards along with Fiora, I couldn't win. And unfortunately, they had exactly that, so GG's. Hey, what's up, Antonomo? There you go. Yes, happy Friday. Love it. Yeah, you have the next two days off. Nice. So they're, they're the next the arena seat the yeah, the arena set's already out, and then yeah, we have new Rune Terra cards here in less than two weeks. We got what, like eleven days. Two and a half weeks. It's gonna be awesome. Hecarim Zed. What am I even doing against Hecarim Zed? Am I withering wailing? Probably. I don't need that. Like this is going to be, um, this is going to be ephemerals, and so they play like a bunch of little small ephemerals. Withering Whale is good against that, but if they just have like the the Soul Shepherd that grows them, <clears throat> then Withering Whale not good. So tough call whether or not to keep that. Could lead with Callista, but this is like the safer attacker because of the quick attack. Do not fear the shrouded path. Go ahead. On guard, Zed. We should get Zed out of here. We should definitely get Zed out of here. Three mana, three two quick attack that also brings along another three two and a three one because it brings the shark back. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Come, journey ahead is long. They'll never see us coming. Stand down. So I wanted to keep single combat mana available, but honestly, I probably should have just... I probably should have just played one of my three drops. It would have made this turn a lot better with the five mana. I think I played that turn wrong, not playing one of the one of those. I do like trading Senna for Soul Shepherd, um, because Soul Shepherd means that my Withering Whale does nothing. Hmm. 
Do I use this to keep them from drawing two cards? I guess so. It's kind of like using this as removal for both cards. I guess. Kinda. They would have blocked my 3-2, then their creature would be a 4-1, so it would die to the Withering Whale. Callista. So Callista brings the 4 4 along side. We haven't had a champion die yet. I mean, I could have a champion die. Let's attack first. Troop of Elnux? Why do I make Troop of Elnux so much? That's random. Alright, now we have Black Spear. exactly sure why they played the Scourge before drawing. If their plan was just to draw anyway, they should just draw the cards first and then see what they want to do with their mana. Alright, still at three. We didn't die. No Mark of the Isles. I know, I know. Mark Vale doesn't do three anymore, thankfully. Oh, I should have done that with the Rekindler. I should have sacked the Rekindler, shouldn't I? Because then, then Callista brings back Rekindler, which brings back Callista. Duh. Uh. Should have, should have sacked the Rekindler. I mean, if I conceded and we won, so that's all cool and stuff. But anyway, there we go. There's Callista Lucian. So three and two. Um, yeah, the Fiora matchup, you know, Fiora plus all sorts of protection. That's that's just going to be really, really tough to beat. Um, that is. And um, so if they if you get paired against that, which isn't a super popular deck, but then if they have that, if they have turn three Fiora and then the rest of their hand is all sorts of good protection and single combats and stuff like that. Oh, well, you know, GG's. So that was one of our losses. So besides that, you know, we won three out of four. Um, so, you know, like, it felt, it felt good. Definitely felt good. The Rekindlers looked awesome. You know, glad we have these in there. Um, Conservator, you know, kind of meh. I don't know. We, we just made, like, some unlicensed innovations with this uh, one drop. So I don't know. Maybe maybe back to Tracker. 
Um, it does just help turn on Butcher, you know, because we, we had that in a couple of games, like where Butcher was just a dead card in hand, so we didn't have Cursed Keeper or Undying for it, or we didn't have Senna along with Lucian. That's another way to use Butcher. If you don't have one of those things, then it, it's really a dead card. Um, but yeah, you know, maybe, maybe I'll play one Fleet Feather Tracker. You know, it does have that Challenger. You know, you can attack in, take their blocker. I think uh, maybe I'll just play one Tracker. I think we'll do that. I do like Tracker a lot. You know, like it, it does it does a lot of th nice things. You can have your Tracker die to help level up Lucian and Callista. You can take their best blocker, make your other attacks better. Um, or, you know, you can just trade with something. So the Conservator was kind of... Meh. Let's let's go back to one tracker, but Rekindler looked nice, so we'll keep those down there. All right, but there we go. Uh, Callista Lucian, pretty good deck, pretty fun deck. I like this is one I definitely recommend trying out. And if you're trying this one out, if you're watching later on YouTube, you know, leave a comment. Let me know how it's going for you. I'd really like the feedback. Uh, you know, let me know what you think about Fleet Feather Tracker or um, or the Mage Seeker Conser Conservator um you know the rekindler all that kind of stuff leave that feedback i'd appreciate it all right but that's it here for callista lucian so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video